In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a cave. We're going to be making this in Micro Royale. So if you're interested in seeing this cave in action, all you have to do is check out this map. I'll put the code up there in the top for you to check out. Before we get started, I do want to point out I made a video called How to Make a BR in UEFN. If you want to learn how to make an entire BR in UEFN, check out that video in the description below or right here in the top right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build the cave actually right here, right next to the beach. And I'm going to teach you how to build this cave step by step. You're going to go over to landscape mode. In landscape mode, what you're going to do is choose the landscape layer, which is this layer right here. If you turn it on and off, that's what controls your landscape. You could even rename this landscape just so you know what it is. So we have that landscape layer right there. And what we want to do is create a cave. In order to do that, we're going to go to the visibility section right here and we're going to choose the visibility tool right here and then we're going to go ahead and take the visibility tool and choose where we want our cave to be. I'm going to do this uh, fairly small and the reason for this is I want to be able to work in where I want the cave slowly. Now as you see right here what I'm doing is I'm actually creating a hole in my terrain and so you don't want to go too crazy right we don't want the cave to get out of control or anything. All right and so I've created the hole for the cave but now we have to actually create a cave. There's many ways to do this. You could either just grab a prop at this point and put in the Fortnite default cave. I'm gonna go a little bit further here. So you're gonna click the new button right here and then you're gonna head over to location and you're gonna see here you have a way of moving the location around on this. And so we're gonna just keep moving this until we get this piece where we want it. And that's gonna be right under here where the cave is. Maybe a little above the sand layer. It's so right where it seems to kind of connect. And you can see here with the green grid that it's just doing a slight connection right about here. All right, so we may even go up a little bit higher to make sure the water didn't go into our cave. And then when we're ready to commit, we're gonna go ahead and hit commit. Now, this looks fairly ugly to begin with. Don't get nervous. We're gonna use some tips here. We're gonna go to noise. We're gonna go to sub and we're gonna get a lot of this out right now. Just go ahead and get that brush up and high here. And we're going to slowly work this out. All right, that is under the map now. So is this. And now slowly maybe shrink the brush as we get closer here. And maybe what we even want to do is have this part of the train here connect. So we're creating just a little bit of a ledge here. Go to that smooth tool, smooth it out just a bit. Now we have our train in here. What we're going to do in here is sculpt out that terrain as well. And you may want to adjust your tool strength that may be too low. And basically, that's okay if it goes all the way out like this. So what you're going to do is take your brush, shrink it down a lot here. And we're going to come in here. We're just going to build out our cave. All right. So what we're doing is you keep building this out till it goes to the ceiling. And we'll say that's our cave. Just for this, you know, demo. We're going to smooth some things out now. Things are still really not looking good. So we're going to use the noise tool here. We're just going to sub out some of the sides here because this is not what we want. And we'll go to that smooth tool and that's fine. If there's those edges there, we're going to address that as well. So basically you just want to make sure this grass is sticking out past the area, um, but you don't want it to be too far out so you can keep finessing and you're noticing we're going back and forth a lot. That's because we're just trying to find a good ebb and flow. I think this looks awesome. So what we're going to do next is put a volume into our cave. This is probably the most important step to making a cave. So you're going to hit the plus button, go to volumes and click Fort Underground Volume. You're going to click and drag this volume and make sure it goes inside of the cave. You'll see here that you'll have the Fort Underground Volume and what you're going to do is you're just going to place it within the cave. Then you're going to go ahead and resize it within your cave to make sure that it fits perfectly within the bounding box of the cave. Basically what this is doing is it's saying if anyone gets under the Fortnite map, do not kill them. Because technically you're going under the Fortnite map 
And the way Epic Games has it set up is if you get under the map, it's gonna automatically eliminate you. So this is a way to protect the player from dying instantly when entering your cave. So now we're gonna go up here and hit launch session. I've already connected to a session. And within our session, we're gonna finish building the rest of our map. Now, go over to galleries, head over to terrain. In terrain, you're gonna pick a terrain that's buildable. And you wanna make sure that terrain doesn't break. So you wanna look around for a rock that fits your needs. For this example, I'm gonna end up using this piece right here. I think it works great. I already modeled these pieces. So I have this one right here. I squished it and I used the resize tool to get the cave exactly kind of the shape and everything that I want. And you can take that piece, reshape it again to be the ceiling and you can reshape it again to be the side. And you wanna make sure too, this may poke out where you see part of the map and you wanna make sure you hide that terrain. Now this might be a very squished little cave and that's fine, don't worry about that. You can make yours bigger if you'd like. So then we're gonna go ahead and decorate in here with some rocks. These rocks I grabbed in the chapter four nature gallery. And what I'm doing is just covering up the back of the cave, giving it just a little bit of a nicer look back here. If you head over to the nature gallery, and then go to the Reality Nature Gallery. You can find a lot of this cool plant life here that I've been using. I think it looks really great for a cave. And you just place that around just like so until you get your desired look. You could even add some bushes or anything else and shrink those down uh, just to get some more of a feel in here that just makes it feel more unique. Place a chest in here so people have a chest to come to when they enter. And pretty much that is it, guys. We've built a cave. This cave is fully functioning. And if we hit start game, we can run into that cave now, make sure it works, and we don't die. Uh, if you test it without that Fortnite underground volume, you definitely will die when going to the cave. Sometimes you won't, but I guarantee you people will complain. So you can go in here now and nothing will happen. You'll be safe. You can go ahead and get that chest, get that loot, and get out. <laughs> and then you're free to go. And that is how you build a cave in UEFN. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I have a whole list of videos for you to check out, so make sure to check out my page. I make tons of tutorials, and I can't wait to teach you something new. Take care.